Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. This is not Andrew Ariano. This is Grant Fierro, but I'm here with Reef Willard. What's Hello, up, guys. Reef? How's What's it going? Up, Pretty good. How are you? Good. Chill. Just uh, ready to talk about some skateboarding. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got just the two of us this week, but we have a very good topic list. Yeah. Trying to think, you know, I'm looking at what I put on the top of this list, but I think we I think we got to save that because it, it, it might have to be the ender. Um, let's go with Weekend Death Dance. Were you able to check that out? 24 hour release. I was not able to see that. I was looking for it when you sent the topic list, but yeah, <laughs> it's, it's nowhere now. Yeah, um, yeah. So they 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 put it up on Thrasher for 24 hours. I believe last Friday they put it up at noon, and then it went till noon on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, and now they're going to sell it on USBs. Uh, it comes with like USB with a couple other, like Sir Palmer, which was like a like 10 minute promo thing they did last year. and A few other videos, I think Grant answer is 50, 50 part, <laughs> which is tight. That's sick. Um, and some other stuff. So that's how they're selling it. Um, I would imagine still probably in a few months or something, and it would probably all get uploaded mm-hmm. at some point. But, uh, I, was lucky enough to go to the premiere they did uh, a couple weeks ago, as well as I, I rewatched it when, when they released it for 24 hours on Thrasher. Because um, I enjoyed it, and I wanted to watch it again. Trevor Thompson, definitely a standout. His first part, um, and all, a rad thing to me about Weekend is a lot of the dudes that skate for Weekend work there in the office. And Trevor does sales. Like I know a lot of the shops work directly with him to order boards and whatnot. So it's just rad to see like these dudes that work for the company and i'm sure busy dealing with a lot of different stuff are still out there filming amazing video parts um he had so many sick manual tricks i loved it reef you're gonna love it. you love manuals. oh yeah. yeah yeah you'll be psyched man he killed it um and johan stucky at the end definitely a couple tricks that stand out his ender is insane uh, i'm not is gonna the end of the video is he the ender yeah oh, okay. he's last part he's okay. last part um his last trick is nuts and one of his last couple, it's towards the end, he kicked the backsmith's this rail. That's so sick. Damn. It was amazing. Um, definitely, Karsten also stood out. He didn't have a ton because, I mean, he hasn't been on that long. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what he had I thought was really cool. His ender was really sick. It was like a, a roll-on 50 on the square rail. I think I had like a little pillar or something at the end. He had a pop-over, and he kickflips out of the 50 over the little thing. It's such a good kickflip. Damn. Um, so that was really rad. Definitely a lot of a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, just a fan of weekends videos in general. They usually put them together cool. Lots of uh, um, good music. So yeah, yeah, I love any it. any oh. skits or anything like a uh, um, role play shit. There is a skit. I don't I don't remember one. I know that's hmm. kind of like kind of their thing, but I'm yeah. not run one off the top of my head. Um. They did have a couple things that I thought was rad, which I think we've seen more of recently in videos. There was a couple sections where it was just kind of in between parts. It was like dude sessioning a spot. That's dope. I'm, I'm a really big fan of that. Yeah, I, I think that's a cool way to kind of transition into a video part, like into the next part of a video. Um, yeah. And just see all the team skating together, especially mm-hmm. with a company like Weekend. Like I picture those dudes, like how it looks on Instagram and stuff. Like it seems like they're all always together. Yeah. Which is really sick. So. Definitely had that vibe. I enjoyed it for sure. Definitely worth checking it out um, whenever you get the chance. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a good watch. I'm excited for it. Um, and as far as the premiere, actually, I guess I should mention this. Yeah. It was pretty funny. They did two showings. I I, uh, I got into the second showing, and they <laughs> they played Grant Answers 50-50 part, which it mm-hmm. just kind of started. And... Um, it went like I think a minute into it, I was like, "Oh, this is the fifty fifty party talks about on the nine club," and it was just sick like pole jams, fifty fifty rails, ledges. Like Damn. he got gnarly. He grinds some pretty gnarly <laughs> rails. Gets smoked a few times for sure. Um, and then uh, and then it ended, and they closed it, and you could just see on the computer there was just a file that said like Grant fifty fifty part. <laughs> They close it, you just see that file, and then they just click on the death dance, and it just started. <laughs> so it, it was pretty rad. It was really funny. Oh, yeah. um, it just like very fitting for for a weekend. weekend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was super tight. Right on. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Trent McClung Venture Park. Did you give this one a watch? 
Yeah, this one was pretty sick. I was actually kind of surprised because, I mean, he just came out with his encore part. But, I mean, all this footage was really, really good. There was a standout. It's very, like, simple and, like, not a crazy anything. It's just in a line. But I'm trying to, I don't know, I don't remember the line exactly. But he has a switch front 180 in the dark. Mm -hmm. And it's in a line. And I don't know. I like kept rewind because all I can do is just uh, hit the 15 second back little on the YouTube from your phone. Yeah. So I just kept watching over and over. I was like tripping out on it. I was like, this is such a perfect switch front 180. Was, but um, back to his part. His part. This. I mean, every flick of every kick flip, every type of maneuver was so sick. And can't really remember too much because I watched it kind of early on in the week. But other than that front switch front 180. I don't know. It was pretty good. Yeah. Um, I, I actually, I remember that Switch 180 specifically too, because I mean, it was definitely how good Trent did it, but the way that the filmer swerved, like the way that they kind of like crisscrossed when he did the Switch 180 made it look so sick. Yeah. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, I think it was that nightline at USC. He does front nose to front crook fakie. That sounds familiar. Yeah. 180s, and then he does. I don't remember what, <laughs> yeah. but I think it was from that line. Um, yeah, dude, I I really enjoyed it. I like watching Trent. Um, mm -hmm. It's just it's just, everything's so proper. It just yeah. looks so good. Like everything's popped and flicked so good. He always lands solid. Uh, I thought that line was pretty rad, where he did back heel a flat gap, then switch back heel a flat gap, mm -hmm. and big spin front nose on that kind of tall ledge. Um, that was sick. And then the other real big standout to me was he kick flips up a ledge and then does big spin back tail to fakey Manny. I just saw is, that. I'm watching it again. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah. And especially the way he pops out and with that VX audio, like you really hear him snap <laughs> out of the fakey Manny. I was like, oh, that was so tight. Like it would have been sick no matter what. But the the fact that he really snapped his um, snapped his tail out like that was tight. Yeah. Um, yeah, and for sure that last line is insane. Like I was not expecting Nolly Heel front nose, Nolly back heel <laughs> in a Damn. line. When he got into Nolly Heel front nose, I still wasn't really thinking flip out. I was thinking yeah. like it almost looked like maybe he was gonna push it up to like one eighty nose grind. Mm -hmm. Um like my head was already like, is that what he's gonna do? And then he just flipped out so perfect and I was like, Wow, dude, like it's like a four trick line, and your, your last trick in it is flipping and flip out. Like that's so crazy, dude. He did the, he did the Uto. He did Nolly, two seventy to switch. Is that what Uto does, right? Uh, one of the, well, yeah, that's that's one of Uto's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I didn't even remember that. That's sick. Yeah, dude, yeah, that was a good really, part. Yeah, that uh, I, I like the little song switch too. I thought it worked pretty cool little like faster uh hip-hop song to end it off in the last minute or something yeah venture's killing it that's pretty sick the thing they always come out with like these they're like unannounced they're just just come out of nowhere venture parts are cool yeah yeah like, i back that yeah um also i just remembered one more trick i have to point out front yeah. shove front crook to fakey it, on that bank to rail like the rail was on a fence he did it so good yeah that's crazy front shove front crook I can't remember. Damn it! I wish I could have watched this again before because I yeah. watched this so early on. That's all good. But yeah. lots, lots of footage comes out. I know, especially yeah. the, this week, dude. This <laughs> yeah, week. yeah. We, we got a handful of topics, and uh, some of them are kind of longer, so yeah. easy easy to forget some footage. But yeah, Trent killed it. So congrats on that, man. That part was really rad. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um. Freedom 19, Blondie McCoy with some crazy clear superstars. Um, I was, you know what I was just psyched about was that he had footage come out with it. Yeah. Like we see so many shoe colorways and that's tight. Like I, I love that companies do that a lot now, uh, shoe brands, but I feel like it's sometimes they don't feel like it's that big of a deal. Um, like that dude gets a colorway and I'm sure he's psyched and like, it's cool, but maybe they don't put out like a part with it. Maybe, you know, mm -hmm. maybe there's a photo or like a couple clips, which is tight. Um, but Blondie, like I haven't really seen that much footage of him in a while. He's not someone that I like closely follow either. So it could be my own fault, but, mm -hmm. uh, I just like, was like, Oh cool. He got a shoe. And then I was like on YouTube and saw that. I was like, Oh sick. He came out the part. Like that's tight. 
So I was just hyped that he had footage come out, and honestly, I enjoyed it. I thought really cool, some really sick lines. He does a back three on a bank, like the what, reminded me of Kenny Anderson. It was really sick. Um, oh, is it that big tall one where he like slowly, like after he goes up, he like does it like a full rotate, like super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like like the hard way, pretty much. And yeah. then he he like lands it, rolls down, and Impossible's a flat gap. I think it is. Oh yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that was tight. Impossible nose manual is beautiful. It's like a dream trick of mine. So I oh, just yeah. love seeing people do that. <laughs> it looks so sick. Um, yes, yeah, so that was pretty rad. You yeah. you checked this part out as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was when uh, I saw the title, I was like, oh, it's gonna be another edit. You know, some random probably I don't know about, but that are really good. But uh, I've seen his footage before, and I'm not like the biggest fan, but I like his. I think his skating looks cool. Mm-hmm. I just I don't really follow him and it's, it's probably yeah. yeah I just don't um uh follow him but anyways uh his skating in this was I really enjoyed it he did a the impossible nose manual on this uh you might have already said that I don't know if it, the, I like, did but yeah, yeah I didn't talk about the spot yeah, really the bank the bank the like little manual pad to like bank in I don't know it just looked really cool he uh his I don't know what else. I'm trying to think of other tricks that I remember. Like the back three that you mentioned, I totally forgot he did the um, impossible after on the flag gap. Mm-hmm. What else did he do? His ender was sick. Oh, switch front three or not switch? Sorry, I don't know why I always think because I think of Chris Roberts is for switch front three shove, but no, it's a regular front three shove over that like flat gap. Oh yeah, that was crazy. I got thing I got skated back in the day like all the time, and I don't know seeing that over that was pretty sick. And yeah, this. It was really cool, uh, like you said, though, to add on to that about like he did put out some footage with like a colorway or whatever of a clear Adidas. I mean, that's so random, but at the same time, he put in work and that's pretty sick because mm-hmm. you're right. Like not a lot of people do that. So, yeah, totally. And it was rad to see. I mean, it's a whole part, so I'm not going to like expect the whole part to be in his colorway. But it was cool that like a good amount of the clips were in his own colorway of the shoe. Yeah. Um, you got to see him skating in it, which is tight. And that shoe is crazy. Like, it's nothing that I personally would wear. But I do think it's cool because I don't know a ton about Blondie, but I know that that dude's, like, pretty into fashion and kind of stuff like that. And so it's cool to see that, like, he got the opportunity to, to have a colorway of, uh, like, a shoe that's been around forever, the Dita Superstar, and he did something so different that, mm-hmm. like, looks so different than any other, you know, colorway of that shoe or really any shoe you ever see. So yeah. it was cool because I think it's just fitting. And I love when you see that, um, you know, he did what he's psyched on. Like, that's the vibe I got from it. So that was that was really cool to see. Yeah. His ender. I just remember the ender. Thank God. Because that was a sick manual trick. Dude, so sick. I wish I could do that one. In front 180 switch Manny and then he reverts to nose Manny. Yeah. Can you do any he... of the reverts? Like manual, like revert fakey Manny, anything like that? Yeah, I can do the... See, that's why I can do the, um, like, I could do that trick, I guess, switch, like, switch 180, revert to fakie Manny, okay, instead of yeah. doing it, yeah, but that way is so hard, like, the, to revert in a switch Manny, you know, like, after a switch, or a front 180, yeah, that was so sick, and I think he was smoking a cigarette when he did it. Yeah, I think he was. <laughs> I, was I, I thought that was kind of cool, it looked, I don't know, for his yeah. style, it kind of just worked, I was like, whoa. <laughs> and i think there's a line where he's he was skating with a sig too that's funny. oh really yeah um cool. wait so you can can you pivot both ways on like manual to fakey manny you can revert both directions front and back yeah that's tight that's <laughs> crazy yeah i got i cannot do that the only one which isn't even like that but nose manny and kind of just like whip it around to switch manny oh yeah i, I could do that. that one yeah that one's fun but yeah, that, it feels like it feels cool, like turning your shoulders like that. But I've always wanted to figure out like the manual and like revert it to fakie Manny. But yeah. I'm not really good at fakie Manny, so that's probably part of the problem. <laughs> you know what? Half cab in makes it easier to do back to the backside yeah. ones. I could see like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, your shoulders are already turning. Exactly. Yeah, but you're good at holding fakie Manny, so that. Thank you, Grant. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's true. <laughs> you got him like that. I just have a hard time, like, I don't know. Nose Manny is really the only Manny that I feel like I can hold. What's I mean, I can, like, hold a Manny, but my dream what? Dream Manny trick. If you got Probably one, just a possible nose manual. Yeah. Which, honestly, like, 
it's i'd say that's my dream trick well actually there's one other one but that one is a dream trick because i love how it looks and it also seems kind of attainable like i think i could do that maybe mm-hmm. like not easily but i probably could at some point do that <laughs> and it looks sick like blondies was so good chromer's yeah. done really good ones before jimmy carlin yeah uh, and then Peter, another one dylan yep dylan thank you another manual which i've never seen I'm not saying it's never been done but I, I don't remember seeing it my friend daniel and i were talking about it would be fakey big flip nose manual oh I didn't even, yeah, that's a good one. Like, to think. That Leaking, one that was good. so sick. Like, yeah. I need to see that. Um, Holy crap, that'd be sick. I don't know. I've done fakey Bigfoot Manny, but uh, mm-hmm. I, that was on a Manny pad that was angled down. Mm-hmm. It was way easier. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree, I agree with that for sure. Yeah, but I don't know. I like half cab nose Manny, so oh, because yeah. I like that trick, just thinking like, dude, a fakey big flip into it would be amazing. I don't <laughs> think I could do that one, but I want to see someone else. Yeah, do you could. <laughs> Mm, maybe i would need like a, a low and like pretty slick mani pad like stoner or something <laughs> something yeah. stone. it's, it's all low and the, slick the, the little black one that's like that little ledge under the yeah the big long ledge yeah that one yeah that one could on that. <laughs> Hell yeah, you yeah. do you have a dream manual trick you've probably done a bunch of your dream manual tricks actually you know there's been one i've been wanting to like learn and then film but I just saw it in one of the edits. I mean, we could transition into the, yeah. um, what is it? Thunder and, uh, God, I'm blowing it with the name. What is it? Thunder and Sunday hardware. Sunday. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that Dean Palmer. Oh my God. He is Dude. sick. Yeah. I wouldn't, so e- I didn't even know who that was. Neither did I. Yeah. I was like, He's so sick. First trick though. He does. I don't remember if he does fakey or switch nose manual, but switch nose manual, fakey flip to switch Manny. And like a drop down. Oh my god, that's one of my dream tricks. Yeah. Even if you didn't have the drop down, it would be. I think it would be pretty cool. Just do it, you know, like in the middle of the manual and just keep mm-hmm. going. But yeah, I actually, um, I think Thunder posted that clip today. Yeah, and from the edit, and I sent it to my friend uh, Billy Jackson because um, he's done that before without the drop down, like how that's you were saying, sick. just. Yeah, so when oh, yeah, I saw Billy. that clip in the Thunder Sunday edit, I thought of Billy immediately. That Dean dude did it so good. Like, it he looks just, so dope. He gets into the switch, Manny, after the fakie flip. So perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah, um, that was a great edit, too. The whole the whole shabam. Yeah, we might as well get into that, yeah. dude. It was JK, rad. JK's killed it. Um, Chima killed it at the end. I like the music at the end with Chima. Mm-hmm. I don't know who's what the artist was or anything but it was cool music um <laughs> uh, yeah it was it was really sick yeah it was uh there was what were the two clips dang it i had them in my head there was two clips in i believe they were in sacramento and i was like what the heck because i thought it would be a lot of i mean it was a good amount of australian footage but yeah uh there was two clips i'm trying to remember where they were at but they were in sacramento i was like what the heck so random and of i feel who? like it'd be- i remember no, I'm trying to remember that even would the, have been skating and sack. That was yeah. I'm trying a, to remember the um the two clips, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I I'm gonna go through. Yeah, I think, think def- I enjoyed it. It was sick. I um that Sunday Hardware Company was kind of something I had just like seen the name around, but I didn't know much about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I knew that like Jake Hayes and Dane Berman, and I'd seen Chima post about it, so I knew those dudes were on. Um. And it's pretty rad because if I'm not mistaken, I think the whole Sunday team was this edit and they're all on Thunder. So it was cool that like that whole team, you know, that that just worked with the collab like that. Yeah. Um, and if I'm wrong, well, at least it was like you know, like a handful of dudes, you know, it's just rad yeah. to see when a collaboration they have like like five dudes that can all be in this video. That's sick. Um, and uh, as far as the skating, I was actually psyched to see the amount of footage Jake Hayes had in there. Mm-hmm. Um, just kind of considering like what else he, you know, he films for like Dickies and New Balance stuff a lot, like kind of maybe bigger projects. So when I saw like him and Chima in this, not that I wasn't expecting good stuff. Like obviously they're great skaters. There's gonna be good footage regardless. But I was thinking maybe a little less or maybe kind of just like some extra stuff. But they both had like very impressive footage in this. So that was rad. Chima's style is just so great. Like he's always good to see. Yeah. Um, I agree. JK's pop shove rewind or pop shove front 180, whatever you want to say, 
that bump over little like guardrail was so sick. I just love that trick. Like that trick looks so good. I, I've never done one, like yeah. a real one like that. But when I see people do it, I'm like, one day I got to figure that out, like out of a bump or something. Doing it with that uh, much pop too is, I I would have no idea how to even try that with trying to yeah. pop it or something. I mean, I I kind of get it with the bump. Like obviously, it gives you a lot more time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Like I kind of get it if you if you have like a consistent good pop shove. And you do it out of a bump and you have the time. It makes sense, but I don't know. Pop shove's a weird one. Like, you have to have that trick so dialed, I bet, to be yeah. able to do the front 180 good like that. So, that was sick. Um, and Dean Palmer, for sure, to me, he was the standout because I wasn't familiar with him. Yeah. And so, to see someone I didn't really know much about and then have his footage be so sick and all those cool manuals and, like, he just skated so smooth. So, I loved it. He kind of reminded me... I don't know, maybe it was his, there were some clips with his hair. It kind of reminded me of Evan Smith. He, like, uh, he was just, like, kind of loose with his skating. Like, it was yeah. clean, but loose. And that's kind of how Evan is, so mm-hmm. I don't know. I think but, it's yeah. cool to see that kind of looser, like, flowy style when someone's doing kind of, like, tech tricks, you know? Because mm-hmm. you don't always see that combo. Yeah. Like, a lot of times you think of, like, a flip-in, flip-out manual dude as maybe, like, tight trucks, like, skate very, like, straight or something, you know? Yeah, but he, he you enough. know, he had that like flowy style while doing those tech tricks. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, good definitely, edit. Definitely back that. There was one thing I noticed, um, just an observation, not good or bad at all. But uh, JK's backside flips out of this bump over a trash can, and mm-hmm. it's actually at it's, I obviously it's a street spot, but it's at a skate park, like right in front of a skate park, and a lot of people skate there. Um, out of that bump over like a, a table sometimes that's in that area because it's in like a basketball court that's in front of the park. Okay. And I'd always wondered like if I would see actual footage there because you could definitely film there. I mean, obviously it's a real spot and that spot was there. It's been there for a little while, but the way they filmed it was like how I pictured it in my head. Like if you just film at that angle, like unless you're from LA, you would never know there's a skate park right behind it. So yeah. It was just cool. I was like, oh, that's tight. Someone actually filmed there. That's sick. And that's that a dope. pretty gnarly backside flip because that trash can is really tall. Yeah. And that bank, like I could see that bank shooting you pretty well, but it's also not very smooth. Uh, but obviously, it's JK's, so he's got he's got a lot of pop. Yeah, he does. Jesus. Hey, real quick, does Dane Berman, do you know? Oh, these are the clips. I finally found them. Oh, Hold is it on. him in, in Sacramento? Yeah, it's uh, Gabriel Summers. Oh. He skates the uh, this blue rail in SAC. That's like a pretty long rail that Corey Duffel skated back in the day. And I'm trying to remember someone else. But anyways, the other clip is oh, it's the it's like a a meter's coming off the wall, and you go off a loading dock onto like a bar that's on the wall. Like someone, I think. Oh yes. Someone like screwed into it to the wall so you can skate it over the gap. Oh sick! He does yeah. the front fifty, back one eighty, I think, right? Yeah, into the bank. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even think that was there at the beginning of that. Like that spot got created or found oh, or crazy. whatever. Yeah, yeah. So it was pretty cool. I just thought it was yeah, so random. Yeah. I was like, these two spots out of, I mean, they're really good spots though in SAC, but yeah, it was just so random yeah, when I said it. But yeah, uh, my definitely. question, my question, real quick, uh, does Dane Berman have a shoe sponsor? Do you know, uh, no, I don't think he's on anybody. I think he's getting vans now. Yeah, I thought like, that was pretty sick. A couple vans or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I know he he got uh he skated New Balances for a while. And then I think it was kind of just like pro flow, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he was skating stray shoes a while. I think he has some clips in here with straight still. And then Vans now, which him and Vans like makes perfect sense. Yeah, I thought it looked cool because it was kind of um, cool to see like him not. I mean, when he put out this Cold War, that Cold War part back in a couple years mm-hmm. back, that was so heavy. And he's like a really, I don't know, it seems like a really like heavy, intense skater. Like he does like the gnarly stuff. And this time yeah. he like got to like do some like fun cool stuff. It looked like in in this edit, he did. I just remember I just yeah. saw it, the back blunt on like this little bar in a bank, like coming up a bank to like back blunt to a fifty in a stall, like didn't yeah. grind it or anything and just pop back in. That was sick. It was yeah. cool. I think it was the fakie too, the way he popped in out of the fifty. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that Probably. was super tight. That was yeah. cool. A lot yeah. of control. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, Chima's sick to see like. He's just like a timeless style. I agree. I totally agree with that. He's skating. I mean, so good. 
It's always Can been good. Flip front board. He kick flipped a, like a fifteen or sixteen stair when he was like fifteen, I think. Or yeah. oh my god, he's that so dude's good. insane. Oh, and also getting better and better. <laughs> yeah, for real. I have to shout it out. I believe it's uh, uh, they, they call him Zool. So I think that's his Instagram. Mm -hmm. That I think he's the dude that runs Sunday Hardware and filmed and edited this video for the most part. He, I think it's him. I don't know what he looks like, but it says filmed and edited by Zools, and then it has a, a clip that has to be him. Fakie big spin to like pivot like five zero to fakie on that street quarter pipe. Mm -hmm. So sick! Like he did it so good. It's like all one motion. Like he fakie big spins, and his truck just smacks like on the way down, and he goes into fakie. It's so sick. Wait, is it at the end? Yeah, yeah. it's like right as the credits, pretty much. Like it has Chima heel flip front board fakie for the ender. It says filmed and edited by Zools, and then it shows that clip. Like real quick, it's really sick. I'm about to watch it. Yeah, check it out. It's at uh five minutes fifteen seconds. Oh, that trick is sick. I like Dude. that trick. Yeah, I'm back on that. That was rad. Oh yeah, that was dope. <laughs> that, was, that was super sick. He popped in so quick too. He like didn't sit on it at all. It looked all one motion. Yeah. That was sick. I know God, that's that, stuff, that cool. type of stuff's the best when it's just one motion like that. Like they mm -hmm. do it so smooth. Yeah, it looks really rad. Um, well, moving along, man, I. <laughs> One of my favorites, but again, this week was stacked, so I got yes. a lot of favorites. Yes. Rowan Davis, Meadow part on Jenkum. I've had my eye on this dude from those Nike Australia edits, um, and he came through. Hell so yeah. sick, dude. I love this it. This board looks like it's – it looks like he doesn't – when he doesn't want it to be glued to his feet, he doesn't. But, like, when he's skating, that board is on his feet so solid. He's yeah. so smooth with it, like – he looks like he's skating a bowl in the streets. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, yeah. but in my head it does. It's, right. It looks dope. Yeah. He uh, for sure has board control. He yeah. looks very comfortable. Yeah. Dude, it's just such a rad style. I love seeing that he skates like those shaped girl boards a lot. And it reminds mm -hmm. me of Corey Kennedy because he was doing that a lot. Um, so that's sick. And just his mix of his like quick, fast lines and. Just skating like like that crusty bank at the beginning and jumping on rails, just doing yeah. it all. So sick. And then the first like minute, like almost two minutes is like the intro, and then it yeah, says meadows, and I'm like, oh my god, dude, this is gonna be sick. I was like, of course, if it's six minutes or what was it like five? Yeah, five yeah, minutes. Five minutes yeah. But still, that's a good amount of footage. I mean, Real. God, it's so sick. Yeah, it looks good in Nikes too. He was yeah. in the. The disc video, right? Yeah. 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 He had a lot of footage in that disc edit. Um, yeah, he has a really cool style. Like, he just, everything about it just looks tight to me. Yeah. So, big fan of that. He he has a line. He does a front nose, big spin, lands and does a shove it right away. I thought that looked tight. Just, just good looking tricks. And obviously, that ender is so heavy. <laughs> Ollie out the wall ride. I'm like, I didn't stair count, but it had to be like a 15. Yeah. Dude, the, um, so sick. The nose right right before, too, was super sick. I'm trying to find the clip that was right before the his name pop, or Meadows popped up. That was a sick clip, or whatever that one was. But that wall ride oh. was insane. Not to downplay that one. Yeah, for sure. The trick right before the his name and Meadows pops up, he board side, like drop down, drop down, drop down, and pops yeah. out. That's so crazy. Like, there's a spot in L.A. like that, but his is a shootout rail, like off yeah. stairs. But there's like a flat bar spot like that. Mm -hmm. And I, I was like, we're skating it, trying to board side it. And it feels so weird dropping down on board sides like that. Like, it's crazy that he had the control to hold on to it and pop out like that. Because yeah. he you know, cross bar at the end and he's like going off a drop because it's off stairs. So I love that clip. And just from skating, definitely not as gnarly of a spot, but something kind of similar like. It just made me think of that and appreciate it even more because I just remember skating that thing and it felt like my feet. Like it feels like your heels are inching towards the front of your board every time you drop down. Damn, that sounds sketch. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. Like, especially yeah. on his, like I said, shootout rail, like you get pretty smoked. But yeah. I love that. Yeah. And, oh, uh, oh, go. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, you mentioned that nose grind. Was that the nose grind yank out he did? Yeah. Dude, it's so sick. It's so sick. Yeah. Yes. Um, but I just saw the clip. I forgot about this one. The 
because I just watched this, but I there's so much good footage in it. Um, <laughs> he does the like carve around this like bar, big um, like it looks like a water park <laughs> ride. You know what I'm talking about? He like does a little carve on it, and then he falls oh, yeah. onto the other one. Yeah, front side wall ride. Super that, sick. It's like a pipe thing. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah, I don't I mean, know what that is. Yeah, it could park. definitely be a water park thing. Yeah, I don't know. It was sick though. Yeah, I love that. And uh, another one I have to shout out: No Slide Nolly Back Two Seventy, like Pretzel, mm-hmm. on that super tall shootout ledge, and then lands and Switchernades off the curb real quick. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. Like that, that drop was huge. That was really rad. Um, before I, I uh, watched this, I saw a clip of it on Instagram. But I didn't finish the clip, which is funny because like it was only probably like fifteen second clip. But he goes always up. And does the crook on that like Wally, Wally crook, and then comes back down the fakie. And I didn't see the end of it on Instagram, but when I watched it on this, I was like, "Holy!" The switch front three off the curb. Yeah, remember that one. Oh my! Yeah. It was so quick. I was like, "Wow!" So he sick. whips it around so fast somehow, like full rotation. Yeah, that was so, so sick. sick, dude. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Random question. Since you mentioned that Instagram thing. Yeah. So at least for me personally, like, especially if it's someone I already know, I'm gonna watch it. Like. Mm-hmm. I see, like, I think the first post I saw was Jenkum, like, Rowan Davis part. If I see that on Instagram and I know I'm going to watch the part, I don't even watch the Instagram thing. Do you do that, too, or do you kind of watch to see what they post? Um, I can see myself doing that for, like, a certain, another, like, a particular skater, like, a, of my yeah. choice. But, like, if it's, like, I mean, I just don't um, know Rowan that much, so I would, yeah, it didn't matter to me. But yeah. maybe in, the, in a different case, yeah, I could see myself doing that. But. Like once if yeah, it's just like if I know I'm gonna watch it, I'd rather just see these clips in the thing for the first time. Like if Grant Taylor dropped the part tomorrow, cool. I would probably wait to watch any Instagram clips and just watch the part tomorrow. Yeah, like a exactly. clip came out tonight, you know, on this. Yeah, so yeah, I'd rather just see it all in the edit for the first time, and then I'm, I, you know, I mean, I'll like I'll like the post on Instagram because I'm gonna watch <laughs> the part, but yeah, I just want to see it in the edit. Like it's just so tight. Dude, I love the last three clips. We already we mentioned that wall ride, that nose grind mm-hmm. yank out, so beautiful. And the lip slide, the long lip slide he does on that same hubba before the nose grind yank. Yeah. So sick the way he holds on to it. I feel like I've seen that hubba before. Has it it he might have been in the, it in the disc oh, thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I was gonna say it's either in that or in melody. The melody uh, like yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it was, I think he did front board in disc, but for, I definitely I wouldn't be surprised if some other Australian dudes have skated that, so. He looks so happy when he landed the wall ride. I like that. Stoked. I like when <laughs> filmers cat like just keep filming and just because if it's not even that heavy of like a a crew, it like he just had his homie there. It seemed like and it was this like kind of gave him gave him a hug. I don't yeah. know, he looked stoked. It was sick. Yeah. Good part. <laughs> definitely. Good shit. I uh, I'm definitely gonna to to be uh, rewatching this one, and I'm excited for. Next thing he comes out with, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> Did he get any, is he getting any skate loops on that? On that uh, part? I hadn't thought of it yet, but there's probably something I could loop in there. Actually, you know what? I did think of one. I lied. The front <laughs> nose big spin lands and Nolly shoves real quick. That that might loop could. Yeah, we'll Hell see. Yeah. He's been looped before from disc, so yeah, yeah he, he'll probably be back. But he was the one that got the Nolly heel, right? The yeah, Nolly that's loop. sick Nolly heel. Yeah, Drew called that one out. Yeah, that was kind of like you mentioned Trent switch 180, like how I was saying the filmers kind of swerve. Mm-hmm. The in the scale. His Nolly heel, he did it good for sure. But part of the reason why I think that stood out so much in that disc edit was the filmer was like under him yeah. when he did that. Nolly, <laughs> heel, like he looked insane. Yeah, it did look cool, especially it was like I think it was nighttime, wasn't it? And under the parking garage. Yeah, yeah, it was all dark down there. Speaking actually of being under a roof <laughs> it made me think because you said dark at some of the footage Sebo Walker his safe oh. at uh, South Bank this just dropped today actually on Thrasher um, you watched it I did I I thought it was a really cool idea I, lo- I liked the I mean Sebo's amazing skater I like the whole idea like he just brought pretty much anyone he was session with in the edit. I thought that was yeah. really cool. Because it was, I mean, obviously it was a part, a SIBO part, but it was like all at one spot. So I kind of felt like more of like a plaza edit in my head, but with just a lot of SIBO footage. Yeah. But I think I like like that part, like how they kind of made me think of it that way. But um, 
Sebo killed it. I mean, he did. <laughs> he had so many clips. Yeah, that fool is a skate rat. Like, he's in those videos, yeah. but he is a skate rat. Yeah. I can just switch heel, uh, switch Manny, like, up the thing. Yeah. Going into the drop of the bank. That looks so sick. Not only half cap switch Manny. He did a lot of cool. Oh my god! I can't try to the switch nose grind. That thing looks so chunky. The shootout oh, ledge. That was my. That was one of my standouts. Switch nose grind shootout ledge. Like it's not the most like psycho trick, mm -hmm. but you also switch nose grind. Like that's pretty scary. Like, you don't see that one a ton. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that thing's chunky. So a balanced nose grind like that. Yeah. And once like the whole, um, like all the homies got their clips in, and Sibo like kind of took the last of it at the end. That's when he like turned it on too. It was like so crazy, like all the flip tricks into the down the seven or eight, whatever it is. Oh my yeah. god, dude! Yeah, he, I also love the flip tricks into manual down the bank. Oh yes, yeah, that is tight. Like Nolly would heal Manny. I think he did. He did something manual back one eighty. Nolly flip manual back one eighty or something. Yeah, I all I remember right now is Nolly would heal, but that was still so, so sick. sick. Yeah, and then killed the set. Um, I think my favorite line, at least off the top of my head, right now. It's at night and he has jean shorts on. And he switched back Smith the ledge, which is switch back Smith the concrete ledge. Like that line was so sick. Yes. Uh, dude, yeah, there was a lot of rad stuff in there. I am curious. I don't. I'm not even like a VX hater, and this doesn't even matter to me that much because when there's times where the the light is like super blown out. Oh, oh like, I know where you're going. Yeah. Like super bright, and my assumption, at least uh, part of the issue, has to be because it's obviously under. This is why I thought of it when you're talking about Rowan's Nolly Hill. Yeah. He's un South Bank is under that roof. And the the part where it gets super, super light, the footage is because he's like going towards the edge of it. So the sun's coming through the side. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not going to be surprised if there's like comments and people complaining about that brightness. But I was also, when I was watching, I was like, I don't know, maybe like you, maybe the filmer could have done something else so it wasn't like that. But at the same time, it's like, He's starting the line in like the middle of this plaza where mm -hmm. he probably has to have the white balance like all cranked up like that so it's light enough. Yep. And then when he's going out to the edge where the sun is, it's probably just nothing he could really do, but I don't know. I do know though, on a VX, you have the if you hold the camera right, if you're holding it with two hands, because I know there's some people with when they film, they can they uh with fish eye, they film with two hands. Yeah. And so you put the you put your thumb on the bottom of the VX, and there's a little scroll, a okay, little like yeah. scroller, and that changes the exposure for you or for the yeah. filmer. So yeah, that's true. So, I mean, anyway, just kind yeah. of something I noticed. I don't really care that much. Yeah, these are nice. My my thought about it is like, yeah, there's there's like a frame in there where the whole screen is like white, <laughs> but it's also he's like swerving to turn around. It's mm -hmm. not like you can't see a trick, really, you know. Yeah, uh, I think like he he does look like a crook. He does a nollie with, like, crook, and it's still yes. kind of bright, but you could see it. And then yep. the thing is, like he lands that, and then he goes to nollie where he heels into the bank. Mm -hmm. And by the time he lands that nollie crook, the lighting is like perfect again because they're back like not close to the sun. Yeah, and to the exactly. And if you were to do the exposure thing, like I was saying, if you mess up on that, you could blow the whole clip. So yeah. he kind of played it safe by just getting like the gist of the just of it you know all of yeah. pretty much what he did without you know missing you miss like two seconds whatever but yeah yeah i mean don't don't bother me but the yeah. same thing I, I actually noticed it too a little bit when he's skating the stairs because that that brightness of where the sun was is like behind him yeah it's like shooting through but obviously you could see the tricks so yeah whatever it's a vx that's gonna be a part of it <laughs> exactly. the vx at south bank like that's i don't know that just makes sense anyway you know Oh, yeah. That like raw, crusty spot that I'm sure is so much harder to skate than we know since we haven't oh, been there. I know. It, it looks Honestly. pretty gnarly. The ledges, like you said, that Switchback Smith, that's no joke. Why do you Switchback Smith a chunky ledge? And it's the fakey tray right before. Now that I remember, I'm remembering that line. It was so good. I love it was that so one. Good. Uh, was what did he do? Tray. One, at the end of a line, he does, I think it's a line, maybe it's a single. He does a nollie flip manual on flat ground and shoves into the bank. It was no, so sick. sick. Yeah, it was so tight. Like he did it real quick. I love that. I love like quick manuals like that. The um, it looked like it's like bigger now. South Bank. I think it got like more opened up recently. Yeah, I don't remember personally ever seeing footage of that section where he did. I think it's the opening line. He does something in like big spins in like a gap into a bank kind of. 
Oh, yeah. Like, I know like bank wall is. I don't remember seeing any of that. Like it's a you go off a drop, like a little drop to like a bank on the wall on the yeah. left side. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't remember that either. So. Yeah, I don't know if that if they if they expanded it a little bit. Um. Also, the name was sick because when you see him there when they were filming that in July, he holds his board up and it's like that's when they were doing that whole thing to save South Bank because I think maybe it was going to get torn down or whatever. Oh, wow. Um, and I think it was like a petition to save it. And I think it's saved. And that's why the part was called safe. So that's pretty cool. That, yeah. I thought that was tight. Like kind of pieced it together a little bit. Yeah. Um, that was rad for sure. Yeah. Good at it. Yep. And now for, for sure, my overall, believe me, these other things, I love them. I'm going to watch yes. them again. <laughs> my overall pick of the week, new balance, <laughs> numeric string theory. Wow. I second that. Beef, let me let me just let me just hear some thoughts. You want me to go first? I want you to go first, kind of. I want to hear your thoughts. All right, all right, I'll get into it. <laughs> Here's my thoughts. Number okay. one, since I've heard this video was in the process, just from hearing the lineup, mm-hmm. I was so hyped. Yes. Because Jordan Taylor, Davis, and Tom K, like that's just so sick. Like those dudes skating together sounds amazing. Um, also, New Balance has like amazing videos in the past. So I knew, you know, I was like, all right, it's going to be great. The lineup's great. New Balance has put out great video projects. It's going to be a sick video. Yeah. And it was. The the uh, the footage, the, the spots that those dudes choose to skate that you don't see anyone else skate. Like Jordan Taylor, I don't know what got him all psyched <laughs> to start bending under rails that's going to like, looks like he's going to get <laughs> or something. Like, yeah. That's sketchy. Yeah. But I love it. Like the roll on tail slide in Barcelona, he does like that cab flip or whatever, half cab flip on the bank, I think reverts and like roll on tail slide on the stair and bends oh. below the rail and goes into the bank. So sick. Yeah. Um, he power sides that other little random like whoop dee bank in Barcelona, like power side lip slides up it. Can't remember that one. Oh, yep. I do remember the one that everyone does like launches off of. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, back 50. Ducks blow the guillotine <laughs> oh, yeah, rail, and then hippie jumps the next one. I was, like, <laughs> yeah. what? I was not expecting that oh, at all. Gosh, I was, I was thinking if anything, it was going to be a double, this double du- like duck down yeah. or something. I don't know, yeah, but duck, but yeah. he jumped the next one. <laughs> it was so Dude. sick. Yeah, so that was amazing. Song choice is amazing. All three of them, I loved them. Davis, like it's so hard for me to pick a favorite, but. I'm, I'm, I think it's either Dave. I don't know. How do I pick I a favorite? Think, Only three of them, and they're all so good. But I, I think I might go Davis. Yes. Um, I'm just a huge fan of his. Mm-hmm. And this, I think this video, the spots he skated, the way it was filmed, it just shows his skating so well. Um, like the creativity. And I'm sure, you know, some of that probably comes with skating with Tom K and Jordan Taylor that are skating oh, yeah. the craziest spots. Like, when Davis did that board slide, he does that line, switch nose ground 180 on the tall, like, back of the bleacher, mm-hmm. and then board side pops over to board side and pops out. I was like, yo, that was beautiful. And then <laughs> and then you see the single of him rolling up, and he board sides all three. I was like, no <laughs> way. That was a great skate loop. I was so hyped. Yeah, that, one, that was the first one to get looped. I was yeah. like, yep, that's getting looped. Um, Nolly flip over the bank. I'm sorry, over the rail into that steep bank was so gnarly towards the end of his part. Dang, I wish I could remember that one. I can't. There, I, but I remember a lot of Davis. When, when you see it, you'll be like, oh, this spot. Like, it's yeah. a huge set. And you skate, people skate over the rail into the bank. Nolly flip is so crazy. Uh, Nolly front heel fakey manny, and he fronts at half cabs, and he pops it into the bank. Oh, so sick. Like, I was like, yo, that's really – like, he had so much control. Yes. Because – you know, I would have been fine with just a, like a revert 180 into the bank yeah. with the pot. <laughs> it's like when Trent popped out of his trick I talked about earlier. Like, yeah. just add something special. Oh, yeah. um, Tom K, dude, like like I said, I think it's tough for me, but I think I would choose Davis for favorite part. But this video to me, it's like it's Tom K's masterpiece. Like this dude, the the spots that he finds, mm-hmm. him on Instagram. This dude puts in work like unnobbing <laughs> spots and listen to his line club and yes. the way he finds spots is insane. Uh, his creativity, the the no slide and his board bonks off that pole and he goes into crook. Dude, 
the Yo. B roll too. The filmer got yes. amazing. I love how they got like him like showing that he was like looking at it like that, and then it just <laughs> happens. Yeah, it was cool. So they showed him looking at it. Then they show that first angle where you see that it pushes him into the crook, and then the like angle from the side. Mm. They dude straight up like the filmers and editors on this so good. They yeah. killed. Um, yeah, dude, Tom K. Crooks, crooks down that one rail and hippie jumps it. Hippie jumps the next one where it's like his board goes in between the stair and the end of the rail. So oh, yep, I know. He also talking. just lip slide and then like wallies off of it too. He also did a no slide hippie jump, didn't he? Yeah, no slide hippie jump and no slide and like board side firecracker on that ledge that like had little Dude, steps. So sick, man. I love this video. Like I want to no. watch it right now. It's I know. So same good. here. This was a good one, and I totally agree with what you said. These three together look. I mean, when I heard it on the Nine Club, when Tom K was talking about it, oh my god, I was like, "This is going to be such a good edit." And New Balance, I know they put out good stuff, like you said. Ru- Russell Hunt. I don't know. How I say his last name Huntington. Or- Out maybe. Out <laughs> Huntington. Um, but yeah, he does good stuff. Because I remember he did a. Um, as a part in cinematographer video and it had jake johnson in it and it was amazing but um he uh this he made this video so good but okay my favorite part davis because of his skating number two peace train by cat stevens that's like one of my favorite songs that's i can't sick. believe i can't believe that they put it to skating because i've always like thought about it but that I mean, obviously, Davis is such a good. Oh, it was so awesome to watch, and he, uh, God, he had such good clips. He, there's a line that um, goes back to uh, Trent McClung's part. I'm thinking of because he does a switch front 180, just like Trent McClung's front 180. Oh, switch yeah, front 180. I remember Davis's too. Yep, he does yeah. this front front tail fakie, switch front 180, always up the ledge to, or was it? Did he like back 180 up the ledge or front 180 up the ledge? Am I right? No, what is back 180. Because he does fakie front board shove Oh, fakie front board shove. Yeah, but what does he do up it? Does he... Uh, you know, I don't know. It, it must be either nollie 180 or back 180. Yeah. But yeah, that... The switch front 180 was so sick, and... Oh, God. The kick flip at the end was oh, so gnarly. Yeah. Woo! The so power gnarly. side roll away, man. That's That's one of my favorites. Yeah. That is and, so sick. Um, I would probably, I thought it would have been, I don't know. Tom K has been around for a minute, but Davis has been around, I think, longer in my head. I've In the scene, I thought it would be cool if he would have had Ender. Just, I'm just being picky now because I, I love this video, yeah. but I want him to have Ender because that song with that part was way too good. But uh, um, I'm trying to remember what I was going to say about Tom K. Oh. Tom K's kits, I kind of liked it. He was dressing like doing like the Heath Kirchhoff all white, but with different colors. Did you notice that? Yeah. He had like yeah. all brown, all, all green, maroon, all brown, all blue. blue. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of cool. He mentions that briefly in the Nine Club, I think. Oh really? Um, I remember how it came up. He, I think he kind of says he like got into wearing like all one color, mm-hmm. and then I remember specifically Chris is like asking him when he's looking for spots. Uh, when they're talking about that and i think tom says something about like like ending up in bad areas sometimes and maybe they ask him like what are you wearing or maybe he just said it. he's like and somehow i end up wearing like all red or all blue <laughs> on those days i remember them talking about that that's funny um, oh let's not forget about all the the other new balance skaters i mean levi brown kickflip yeah. so good and he, he has one of the best ever yeah, he does, and I haven't seen we haven't seen anything of him for a minute, so that was cool. Chad Tim Tim footage was sick. Uh, Yo, well, switchback tail like body varial spin thing was tight. His Chad. back foot landed so sick too. It was like he didn't land like a like a stomp. It was like kind of like I don't know. It was it was, it was like landed very lightly. Yes, especially with that trick because to me that's like. I don't know. Like, that trick could be sloppy. Like, if you tic-tac that trick, it's like, mm. Mm-hmm. But he did it so good. I thought I expect Tim Tim to tic-tac, but, you know. <laughs> Actually, speaking of that, I don't know, Reef, if you've ever listened. Have you ever listened to The Bunt? Yeah. Okay, have you listened like to Tim Tim's episode of The Bunt? Yeah, but not for a minute. Because I usually, I re-listen to those guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're funny. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, in his episode, they bring up, they're like, we re- re- rewatched all <laughs> your pictures and you've never tic tac Yes, I, heard, I remember so this. That, that yeah, was... I remember they said that. And I was like, these dudes rule for noticing that. Like, that is so sick. That is dope. Oh, I totally remember that now that you said that. Hell yeah. Jack Curtin's ender to the montage, too, was insane. I Not only back when 80, fakey 5 0 down that hubba in Minnesota. Dang. That was really sick. I'm all remembering the clip he did in. Or in Auburn, it's like a little bit of ways from here, but he did switch flip crook on a. Oh yeah, down yeah. like that wood rail thing, right? Yeah, yeah, that was sick. Cool. Uh, I also love love how the opening clip of the montage was the the kick flips of Jordan and Jake over the table. Mm-hmm. The, yeah, I remember sick. seeing Jake Darwin shot a photo of that, and the photo is insane. Like it's really? so sick, and I just love that it opened with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, what about your boy, Tom Knox? He got the first line, too. That Dude, that line was never ending. I was like, oh, my God, for a second. Yeah. I've been in that spot once before, so when I saw him there, I was like, oh, sick. Like, I want to see how he's going to skate it. And he skated it really sick. Like, the kickflip nose manny and then does that nose bonk. I think, like, nose bonk 180 off the thing and turns around somehow and does, like, front tail shove going down the hill. That was all really sick. And I love yeah. watching Tom skate. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, such a great video. Yeah, I can go on and on. Jordan Taylor, it was like not even that cool, like crazy of it. Not cool because I think it was cool to me, but not crazy. I yeah. guess he does the, like he goes up this little bank and it's a very narrow stair set with a bank, and he goes like a five o on the like uh, the little, sorry, the handrail of the. Oh yeah, yeah. back when eighty. Like, yeah, I'm front. Yeah, is he back when eighty? I thought he front when. I don't know. Whatever. The, the one where he's that. grinding like the low rail, right? Oh. That one was sick too. Oh yeah, I was thinking about that one. But, I, but that was the one in the line, right? He does nollie flip, start off the line, ollies up, mangles, and then yeah. he has the front five o back one eighty. Yeah, that line was so sick. I'm glad you mentioned that one. Oh, but the other one I was, is that like narrow blue bank with a like a little like three or four stair handrail, and he does oh, ollie up the switch five o one eighty. Switch five o, yes. Now yes. I'm talking about yeah, so sorry. sick. Yeah, that was tight. Because it wasn't like. I mean, it's not like anything crazy, but to me, I just thought, I was like, God, this is, it's, it's just so crazy how many tricks are getting done by these amazing skateboarders. That's yeah. So good sick. One thing I want to shout out before we yeah. uh, move on, you mentioned Davis's song. Um, Tom K posted, which is pretty rad. He said, Davis Torgerson told me while filming for Trans World Substance how bad he has always wanted to skate to Cat Stevens, parentheses, even attempting to email him directly. Stoked to see this come together for you. Very proud to see you push through injuries up until the night before the premiere. So that's just, I read that and I was like, that's so sick. Like, just knowing that he wanted to skate to Cat Stevens for that long. Um, and then it ended up happening. Like, he was probably so hyped. So, You picked a great song, Davis. That's all I got to yeah. say. That's yeah, like literally one of my favorites. Killed it, man. It's a sick one. All right. Well, I think it's time for... Uh, for yeah, let's hear it. Grant's Grant's Grant. Graham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels funny saying that myself, but <laughs> yeah. you know, I grew right here, so I just I'm gonna just say oh, it. Yeah. Ishad, where the best skateboarder on this planet? Kick flip up, backside flip. I mean, that backside flip is so beautiful. He said one or two like he wants us to pick, man. That's a hard choice because he'll flip up going backside, like that's already impressive. Yeah. And then the beautiful back heel, so good. It's it's just beautiful watching him skate. Watching him do anything. Like watching him jump down the stairs. So good. Everything's so smooth and proper. Couldn't be done better. I agree. I hadn't even thought about like if, if which one of these two is my favorite until right now, really. Because I just yeah. love them both. But I think <laughs> I would go with the heel flip one because. All right. Just heel flip up backside. Like that's pretty awkward. And the back heel's so good. It is. Man. But for some reason, that kick flip is like. I it know. gets me so hyped, and then the backside flip was pretty flawless. I mean, they're oh, both flawless. Right. Yeah. I just feel like he, when he lands the backside flip, not to get too critical on the Instagram, but just it's like he lands it so smooth, the backside flip. The back heel, he kind of like. He bends, maybe, he takes the impact a little more on the back yeah, heel. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Exactly. Yeah. That's a good way of saying it. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, it's but true. Yeah, great, great grand scram. I love Dude, it. Dude, it had to be. 
It had. I actually saw it and I was so hyped on it. And then a viewer, sorry, I don't remember who sent it to me, but a viewer sent it to me. And they're like, Grant's Graham this week. And I was like, yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's it. it. It's already secured. Like the day he posted it, I was like, I don't care what anyone else posts. Like, I'm, yeah. that's, that has to be it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So shout out to Shad, man. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's a wrap. Yeah. We'll be back next week. Right. Peace. Later. Yeah.